I just wanted to uh, make a video for Mr. Dreams. Uh, to others, this might seem weird. Like, I mean, uh, uh, the videos I make. Or maybe they might seem evil or demonic. I just... I just have a different approach than most um, most people that come to God they uh, they join a church or they start a church or a, 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 what do they call it a mission anyway I, I had a different idea on how to do it was to show the world the demons the, the fallen Satan and anybody who works for him and, and in doing so maybe that will in turn bring some people to God that couldn't have been brought there by a church or a congregation or some nice words I believe that there are lots of different types of people in this world and there's not a lot of people that are trying to pull people for Jesus from Satan, I don't think. I mean, okay, maybe I said that wrong. They're not opening their mind enough to understand that people are controlled by fear and sometimes the fear is so strong that the only way to break out of it is through another kind of fear I just I just hope that nobody nobody has to go to hell I don't want anybody to burn you know I don't think that was ever the father's intention. I don't I don't know if that's exactly how it's written or how we're reading it. I don't know. But Mr. Dreams, I think that the the vision you saw I know you don't know me very well, but do you think it could have been me? I mean, when you see my face and you imagine uh, me beyond 2024. Do um, you think it could have been me? Because I, th it was a nine-foot being that that put the unknown object in my leg, and the weird coincidence that. You said that they were like reptilian. Well, I mean, during my sleep paralysis when it happened, uh, I, okay, so I'm lying on my back and I, can't, I wake up while well, I open my eyes and I can't move. And I'm staring straight up and then I'm able to move my eyes downwards towards my feet and my closet door is open in the room I was at at the time that happened. And I can't breathe and I can't move. And then this buzzing starts happening to my left. And it's not a normal buzzing, it's a, it's a vibration. Like not, nothing like uh, nothing like a, a machine or anything that we've made here on Earth. It's it's like a, the oscillation is so intense. It's it's pure fear vibration, and, it, and it's emanating from the thing walking towards me, and I can't see it, but I can feel that it's there. Okay. 
and I'm able to move my eyes enough to the left where I can see its legs and I can see him pulling his hand up and its fingers are like seven or eight inches long and you said it looked reptilian but in my sleep paralysis it was affecting the way the room looked like that it, it made it tint a very deep purple color so I couldn't really see what its skin was like I mean it looked purple because it made the whole room purple and it touched my inner right thigh and the instant it touched it it came in contact with me I woke up screaming like I broke paralysis and and there was a huge lump in my leg where it touched like huge like when people say softball size it was like softball size but like in the shape of a dagger directly into my femur on an angle from the inside and it was in my skin like just beneath the skin this metal feeling object it attached itself to my bone and then I became extremely paranoid I was too afraid to go to the hospital I was too afraid to tell anyone about it uh, it took about three weeks for this thing to slowly melt into me and it was excruciating and while it was happening it was like my mind was open and I could see things that you normally couldn't see and I can hear people's thoughts as they passed by me and I was having out-of-body experiences almost nightly when I was trying to sleep and I was so exhausted and I couldn't sleep and then they started attacking my dreams and making me think that I was waking up from my dream when yet I was still in it and it would happen over and over again like a torture like an agonizing torture where everything is fine and you think you're awake and then your reality distorts horribly and then you think you wake up again but you're not and you don't realize right away it's the most horrific thing I've ever experienced and I I hope to God nobody else experiences that ever in their life um, my point of this video is is it possible that those two reptile beings were holding me up okay they poisoned me I'm a Canadian they forced me into a corner and they poisoned me Two years down the road, I'm going to be like that. That's my point. What if they've been following me my whole life? Because I'm the one they're going to use. That's my nightmare. <laughs>